Hi, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and today we will talk about bulk forwarding using Gmail. Now you know that Gmail offers an easy mail forwarding option that lets you auto forward messages to any other email address that you own. You simply define a filter and any new message that matches that filter is automatically sent to your other email address. The problem or rather a limitation with Gmail's auto forwarding feature is that it only works with new incoming mail. You cannot set it to auto forward messages that are already in your inbox. So for instance, if there are a couple of messages in your inbox that you want to auto forward to your Evernote account for archiving, you cannot send them using Gmail in bulk. You'll have to forward them one by one and that's quite cumbersome. However, you can set up indirect auto forwarding in Gmail using Google Docs and it will even work with old messages. The process is very simple. All you have to do is fill a couple of columns in a Google Docs sheet and it works even in the background. So let's see how. So this is my Gmail inbox and as you can see there are quite a few messages that I would like to forward to different email addresses. Now to get started I will create a few labels here. I'll create a label called Evernote for all emails that I would like to forward to my Evernote account. Another label would be web apps for mails from startups that I would like to review on my blog later. And probably a third label would be travel for archiving all my travel related emails to my TripIt account. Once the labels have been created, I will quickly associate these mails with the right labels. Now I'm doing this manually here, but you can also use the Gmail search function to associate messages in bulk to the right labels. Now that your labels are ready, go to Google Docs and create a copy of this sheet into your own Google Docs account. Go to file, make a copy and give it some name. Now that your sheet is ready, all you have to do is fill in the Gmail label column and the corresponding auto forward addresses column. So for instance, I created a label Evernote and I would like to send those emails to my Evernote account. So I'll put my Evernote email address here. For my travel related emails, I'll put my TripIt address here. And for the web apps, probably I'll put my primary email address. That's all you have to do in this sheet. Next, we need to tell Google Docs how frequently this mail forwarding script should run. So for that, go to Triggers, Current Script Triggers and set up a trigger. Now set the event type as time driven and then you can choose an hourly tri trigger timer or a minutes timer. So if you want to be near instant, you can set a minutes timer that triggers every one minute. For this sheet, we'll set it to every five minutes and save it. Now, since you're running this for the first time, Google Docs will require you to authorize access to Gmail account. So just click the authorize button. This you have to do only once. And once the authorization is done, just close Google Docs and your uh, mail forwarding script is ready. Now this will run in the background. You don't have to do anything. And whenever it discovers any new messages in those labels, it will auto forward them to the corresponding email addresses. That's it.